in question 4 we have to write equations for all the given statements so let's start with part 1 in part 1 the statement says the sum of numbers x and 4 is 9 so this word is means equal to in the equation and if you look at what you have on the left of this word you have the sum of numbers x and 4 so this gives you the LHS and uh, you this is equal to 9 so that gives you the RHS so this is how you have to think in each part so sum of numbers x and 4 can be written as x plus 4 and the RHS is uh, and this is equal to 9 so the RHS is 9 and the equation becomes x plus 4 equal to 9 so quite straightforward let's do part 2 now so in part 2 the statement says the difference between y and 2 is 8 so is becomes equal to in the equation now the difference between y and 2 this is your LHS and 8 is your RHS the difference between y and 2 can be written as y minus 2 technically speaking it could also be 2 minus y but in this case because y is written first so we will go with y minus 2 and on the RHS we will have 8 so y minus 2 is equal to 8 is the equation that we get now let's go to part 3 in part 3 the statement says 10 times a is 70 so is is your is this word is equal to um, in the equation and on the LHS you will have 10 times a and on the RHS you will have 70 okay so 10 times a on the LHS and on the RHS you have 70 so the equation becomes 10 a is equal to 70 now let's go to part 4 in part 4 the statement says the number b divided by 5 gives 6 gives is the same meaning as equal to right so what this means is that on the LHS you have the number b divided by 5 and on the RHS you will have 6 and these two will be equal so on the LHS we get b divided by 5 on the RHS we have 6 and these two are equal so b by 5 is equal to 6 is your equation in part 4 in part 5 we have 3 fourth of t is 15 so the LHS will be 3 fourth of t and the RHS will be 15 so in part 5 the LHS is 3 fourth of t or 3 t by 4 I can write it like this also 3 t by 4 and the RHS is 15 and we equate these two to get our equation in part 5 in part 6 the statement says 7 times m plus 7 gets you 77 so gets you means equal to is equal to 77 so that means that the LHS is 7 times m plus 7 and the RHS is 77 now 7 times m plus 7 can be written as uh, 7 m plus 7 right 7 times m is 7 m and then plus 7 you write plus 7 so you get the LHS as 7 m plus 7 and the RHS is 77 and you equate these two and that's your equation for part 6 in part 7 the the statement is 1 fourth of a number minus 4 gives 4 so gives becomes equal to and the LHS becomes 1 fourth of a number minus 4 and the RHS becomes 4 now we are not given the variable here we are just told that 1 fourth of a number minus 4 so let's assume that that number is x so 1 fourth of x minus 4 so let's write it like this 1 fourth of x minus 4 so this becomes your LHS and the RHS becomes 4 and these two are equal so this is our equation for part 7 now let's go to part 8 in part 8 the statement says if you take away 6 from 6 times y you get 60 you get translates to the equal to sign in the equation 
so this means that the LHS is take away 6 from 6 times y and the RHS is 60. Now take away 6 from 6 times y, how do you write this as an expression? So 6 times y is 6y, so 6y and take away 6 from this number, so 6y minus 6 and this gives you 60. So on the RHS we will have 60. So 6y minus 6 is equal to 60 is your equation in uh, part 8. And finally in part 9, the statement says, if you add 3 to 1 third of z, you get 30. So this becomes the equal to sign in the equation. And the LHS uh, comes from add 3 to 1 third of z and the RHS is 30. So add 3 to 1 third of z. How do you write this as an expression? So 1 third of z can be written as z by 3. Add 3 to this. So z by 3 plus 3 is your LHS. Your RHS is 30 and these two are equal. So this is your equation in part 9. So with this all the parts of question 4 are completed. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.